Hi everyone, Jim Alexander here. It's my pleasure to take you through Fellow Match now. Uh, it's one of our terrific resources for those who are applying to fellowship programs. It's basically a job board and uh, you know, a lot of fellowship positions get posted here. I'm gonna take you through it right now. Go to the student page under the Mid-Year and Fellowship Prep Resources and we'll find Fellow Match right here. Okay, so the landing page here pops up and let me tell you a little bit more about it. So um, interestingly, the price for this is zero. It's free 99. Um, we don't feel like there should be a lot of money involved to post things here or for students to apply to fellowship programs. Um, and everything that you need is, is really right here. We encourage companies to post their positions there, no matter what their recruiting process is. They might have their own portal. They might use fellow match as their portal. Um, doesn't matter. We feel like all the positions should be posted here and make it easy for everybody to apply for fellowship programs. Anyway, so let's take a look down here and we'll see that right away it uh, invites you to come in and just uh, indicate whether you're a candidate or a sponsor. Um, visiting with you today, I think you are candidates. Uh, so here's a little how to and you know why to do this. A um, little bit different this year. Actually, you can get a jump on mid-year by getting, you know, going to post positions here and, and uh, post your materials for them. So let's access the dashboard here and see what's there. Right away, you see some tools pop up. You got, you can view the available positions, view the submissions you've already made, and also there's a great FAQ uh, for your benefit. So let's look at available positions. There happens to be one on here now. Um, the fellowship application season just started. We expect there to be many and you should check back frequently. Frequently, uh, This is our partner, Esperion. It's a new program, it happens to be remote. I guess really all fellowships are remote these days. Um, this one definitely is. And let's take a look, there's a little company description there. Let's take a look at what they offer. A little bit more on the company description and they've got a medical affairs position that includes med info and medical communications and has a good description there. So if this is something you like, and obviously you can see their brochure here, you can also visit their website. Um, if this is something you like, you're gonna hit apply now. We'll do that in a minute. Let's just take a look at the brochure. There we go. There's the medical affairs uh, position at Asperion. Great information. We got it well-designed and laid out uh, for you as applicants. Anyway, that's a great brochure. Let's say we decided to apply to this and so we hit apply now. Now a new uh, page obviously pops up and it's going to welcome you to submit your materials. And uh, right here it'll tell you the position if they're still recruiting or whether it's closed out. Clearly they're still recruiting, we just started the season. And then uh, they've checked off which items uh, they want you to upload. Your CV, letter of intent, and a transcript. So this is a, you just hit edit, um, choose the file on your device and load it up there and save it. Um, they're not asking for letters of intent here. Um, most real world, real world jobs, there's no letters of intent. You just are asked for references and you provide them and they're only contacted if you're a finalist. Uh, there's no need to sort through all of these uh, letters of recommendation. But anyway, um, Here's where you would, would list those, just add, add new folks here. They're asking for a minimum of two, sometimes it's three, and you just fill in the name and their email and who they're employed by. Um, you know, that wants me to enter something there before I save it. Anyway, uh, now here we wanna enter our LinkedIn profile so it's easy to connect and in addition to their CV, they can take a look at your LinkedIn profile. And then we've got really a status update for you here at the bottom that tells you, you know, what you've uh, submitted already of the required documents. Obviously, we haven't submitted any, and so those are all red X's. These would be green checks if everything was in. So over here are the candidate tools. Um, here's the FAQ. Here's the place to view your submissions. Um, here's to go back to the list of all the positions that are available. And again, right now, there's only the one. And then, uh, you know, here's the dashboard to, uh, that has your tools uh, formatted in a different way. 
anyway, we hope you will visit Fellow Match frequently this year uh, during this fellowship season. Uh, take a look at what's offered. Again, the price is right. It's free. Um, hopefully a lot of the programs will opt to post their positions here rather than PPS or, or perhaps in addition to, and then just link out to various portals. So there you go. Uh, happy hunting in this fellowship season. I hope uh, all of you are successful in your quest. And, uh, you know, we're here to help. Remember that you can always reach us at supportindustrypharmacist.org. And uh, actually, as a close, let's take you back to this student page and remind you that at any point when you have a question and you want a current fellow to answer it, there's no need to, you know, feel intimidated or anything like that. Just submit the question. Again, it's free. So you're going to be able to pop here over to the fellowship Q&A. You're going to see ask your question now. There's some already on here that have been uh, asked in the, you know, uh, submitted in the last couple of days. And then uh, you're just going to add, type your question. You can opt whether you want your name to be displayed. Most people don't, but it's fine if you want to do that and then just submit it. Um, and then, you know, uh, importantly, all these questions that have been asked over really going back to last year, which are most of them are still relevant, even in the virtual world. Um, they're all there for you as a resource. We all have many of the same questions and we can go here and look at the questions that have already been answered, uh, asked and answered by other people. Or if you don't see uh, the question answered that you are interested in, you just submit it. Well, that's enough for now. Thank you for being interested in our resources. They're all here, you know, for your benefit. And again, I wish you good luck in the process this year.